it's been a while, but I'm back. So I sent out an email last night to Chris and Laura um, about why I couldn't make a video last week. I've just had such a crazy, hectic schedule between school and work. I don't have two hours to myself uh, to do anything, so I've, it's been hard for me to find time to make videos. So I sent out the email, and so we're going to change up the format a little bit, and we're going to do, um, no longer we're going to have set days, we're just going to post one video each a week uh, whenever we have time to get it up. I know this is going to work out better for us so we have more time and less stress. Uh, Laura, I know you have a hectic schedule just like I do. Chris, I know that you're always busy doing stuff. Um, so I think this is going to work out much better, uh, especially since I'm very dedicated to this project and I know that all you guys are too. Um, so as long as we can keep it going, I'm happy. Speaking of emails, not too long ago Laura sent me a cryptic one asking me for my address and telling me not to ask any questions. I've been a little frightened about what will come in the mail. Lo and behold, a box did arrive last night in the mail, and I was very pleasantly surprised when I opened it up and found out what was inside. Inside of that box was this! Now I know you're thinking, Mike, that just looks like a regular copy of an Abundance of Catherine's for $3.99 special price. Which one you already have. Yes, that would be true, but what you don't see is this. Open here. Interesting. Laura got me a copy of An Abundance of Catherines, signed by John Green. I am literally speechless. I have no words to describe how uh, that made me feel, except to say that Laura is made out of pure awesome. Laura, thank you so much. That was so cool. You didn't have to do that. Um, so thank you. Thank you for sending it to me. Um, thank you for the really great note that you put in there. Uh, just thanks. So earlier I had mentioned I have like no time, not even like two hours to myself, except for right now. So I'm going to go through with you a typical school day and work day. Today, Tuesday, um, is a school day, so I woke up at about 6 o'clock this morning because that's when Adrian had to get up and go to work. Um, I fell back asleep, so I got out of bed at around 9.30, um, making this video. Uh, then I need to study. Uh, make some note cards. That takes me to about 12.30. Then I need to take a shower, get ready. Um, that takes me to about 1.30. I have a half an hour to chill out and relax. Uh, then I need to go across the bridge into Poughkeepsie to catch a train at 2.30. My 2.30 train from Poughkeepsie puts me into Grand Central Station in New York City at around 4.30 in the afternoon at which point I need to run to catch a subway, the downtown 6, to go to school. That puts me at school at about 4.45. Then I need to change into my uniform, um, so that takes about, you know, 10 minutes. So then I have some last minute studying that I can do in the student lounge, because class starts at 5.15. Class goes from 5.15 to about 10.45. Um, then from there I run to the locker room to get changed, to get back to Grand Central Station to try and catch an 11.15 train. A train that I have never been on once. I've never made that train. So I usually get back to Grand Central Station at about 11.20, five minutes after the train that would get me home at 1.30 a.m. So then I need to wait in Grand Central Station till 12.10 in the morning, um, at which point there is a train to Poughkeepsie, which gets me in at about 2 o'clock a.m. Um, back home. So I'm back home at about 2.30 in the morning, and then I go to bed. Um, sometimes I take a shower depending on what I cooked. I'm probably going to be making fish today, so I'll probably take a shower because, you know, fish smells. Um, so then I'm in bed, and Wednesday I work at 8 a.m., so I need to get up at 6. So I spend a lot of my time looking like this. So that's a typical school day for me, um, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, except for the job. I really hate that. But I love school. It's the hardest thing that I've ever done. I never thought that it would be this challenging, but I love every second of it. I have great chefs um, and great students that I'm cooking with, so it's a lot of fun and I wouldn't trade it for anything. But that's gonna do it for me. I have to go study right now and try to grab some lunch before uh, I have to head out to school. Chris and Laura, I'll see you guys uh, later on this week.